Hello everyone, welcome back to the 28th episode of the Stitch With Love podcast. My name is Shannon, I am a knitter and a crocheter coming to you from Palmerston North, New Zealand. Uh, if you are new here, welcome, I hope you enjoy. Uh, if you want to check out previous episodes, I will leave a playlist link at the end of this video and I would love for you to subscribe and stick around if you want to. Um, if you are not new, thank you for coming back and I would love to hear what you guys are working on. Um, yeah, uh, well, and yeah, again, thank you for coming back. Um, I really do appreciate it and it's, it's awesome. I love it. So I'm going to get into some knitting. I do have a finished object in the sense of it's off the needles, but I'm horrendous at weaving in ends. Um, and I have a new cast on. And I realised I made a boo-boo last week, so, you know, we will talk about that. <laughs> so, first things first, um, I can't think if there's anything I need to say before I get into the knitting. Um, no, I, th I think it's just be jumping, jumping into the knitting, I think. Um, yeah, we'll jump into that and we'll go from there. So... First things first, this is a shawl. Um, so this is my finished object. Oh, where is it? Here we go. It's smaller than I thought it was going to be, considering I knitted the large size, but that's all right. So I said, oh, the ends are not woven in. But this is my simple gift shawl by D. O'Keefe. It's an asymmetrical triangular shawl with lace pattern down the side and then this stocking stitch with like a broken rib detail every several rows um this is a paid pattern so i'm not going to say too much but yes this is my simple gift shawl. It is knitted. I knitted it on the recommended needle size, which is four millimeter needles. And the yarn I've used is I'm thinking it's a cotton blend. It's Spotlight Millens uh, that I've had for a while. So I just thought it'd be great for the shawl, and I'm loving the stitch definition in it. As I said, I think it's like a cotton acrylic blend from the feel of it, but I'm not too sure. Um, can't remember if I used three skeins or two. I think I used three, but I can't remember. Um, so if I, oh dear, dropping the end. If I pop it on so that you can see, you know, if I was to wear it like a scarf. Um, yeah, so it's a bit smaller than I had anticipated, but very beautiful patterning. Um, this is the large size. There's also medium size. Um, yeah. Uh, overall, I really enjoyed. I really enjoyed making it. I am very much a lace knitter, so I loved this lace on the side here. Um, yeah, I'm very. I, I love lace, so I love. I love. Oh my gosh, words. I love knitting lace and I find it actually quite relaxing. Um, that might sound a bit weird to some people, but I'm very familiar with lace. Um, so I'm very drawn to it. And I do find it very relaxing. And I think as well, because I have to be a little bit more focused on what I'm doing, uh, it's quite good for like when I'm anxious because... I have to well, I have to keep an eye on this so I can't really think about what else is going on in my life. Um, so yeah, this is my finished object this week. So I have another shawl. I'm knitting a lot of shawls at the moment because I love shawls and because I'm using them quite a bit. Um, not so much when I go to work, but if I go out in the evening, even just to wrap around like a scarf because the weather here is real funny. 
it's warmed up quite a bit today. I'm not having to wear any sweaters or anything. I'm wearing just a normal dress, which I haven't worn since, or I haven't worn like this since, you know, like probably for a few months because it's been too cold. I've got the door open. <laughs> it's sunny. I put my washing to dry outside. It's weird. It's really weird. <laughs> Um, it probably won't last this way for very long, knowing Palmerston North, but we can hope. We can dream. Um, however, I do like the wet weather. Lovely knitting weather. Love it. Anyway, this here is my sweater project at the moment. It looks really weird because it's bunched up on the needles, but I'm hoping as I work on it more, it'll look less weird. Uh, this is my... now. I don't know if I can pronounce this right, and I apologise if I don't. Trescal, Tresco Jumper by Along Avec Anna. And again, I'm using more, this cake is a real mess, but it's right. More Spotlight Millions, this is an acrylic one, I can almost guarantee. Um, like on the, not the anti-pilling ones. So it's soft, but you can tell it's acrylic. Hi Ash. Meow. My cat's made herself known. Um, hi. Um, lovely red though. Um, a, what dye is it? Um, I think it's purple sprouting. Yes, purple sprouting has a yarn in this sort of colour in the sock base I bought from Capital Fiber Fest, and I want to make a jumper out of it. It's so lovely. I want it. I want it so bad. <laughs> uh, but that is an acquisition for another time. I That's a, a dream one. I haven't bought any. I want to, though. Um, so, yeah. I'm using the recommended needle size. This. This is a free pattern, which is amazing. I'm using 4mm needles at the moment. Uh... The neckband is knitted on 3.75. I have a lot of stitch markers. I need to get more because I just have like these big chunky ones I got from AliExpress and they're cute. But when you have like, how many are there? One, two, three, four, nine. When you have nine of them on there, it's quite heavy. <laughs> um, so I do want to get some more, but they work for now. Um, yeah, and you've seen this project bag many times by now, probably if you've seen any of my recent episodes, but this is my project bag that I got off Etsy by Rosea by Lily. I will leave her shop linked. I think my husband just went to the loo. I heard the door go. Um, I will leave her shop linked below in the description if you want to go check her out. I don't know if she ships internationally, 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 mm -hmm. um, I know she ships within New Zealand, but outside of that, I don't know, um, and she's local to me, so, yeah, um, the needles I am using are my Caspian Wood Interchangeable Set, um, I do want to get some Chowgoos at some point, uh, the lace ones for smaller sizes, but I haven't got that yet. <laughs> They're like, that's like another $160 that I don't have right now so we are waiting so yeah that's currently living in here uh, da, 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 da. we'll go with this next um, this is the wrap I'm making for my sister-in-law I've knit I think a couple more repeats on this I'm going to knit on this probably again after um, oh, after I finish here, this is, where am I? um, this is Roxy Fibers Machine Wash 4 Ply, uh, in Bejeweled. She doesn't have this colorway anymore, but she does have something similar that's just a bit brighter called Bright Jewels on Trust 4 Ply, I think, which I will leave linked below. Um, I'm knitting this on 3.75mm My Caspian Wood Interchangeables again 
Um, these stitch markers are so cute. They are also from Roxy Fibers. So there's a cat there and this little cat in a circle. Um, so yeah. Um, don't know what else to say about this. It's very hard to see the pattern at the moment because it's a very loud yarn. Um, but it's a lace leaf pattern. But hoping when I block it out, it'll be easier to see. And when I'm not holding it back here. <laughs> um, yeah. So. In this bag, I don't even know what it's called. I don't even know, think they sell it anymore. This is from Spotlight. It was one that was on sale. I bought, would have been just before I came down here. I think I bought it as like a travel bag for my projects. Can't remember. It would have been like January. Doesn't matter that. Um, sorry, just reaching behind my computer. Oh, that's from an end I wove in earlier this week. <laughs> um, this is my in stitches bag that I bought from Capital Five Fest. Um, it's got the Marauders map from Harry Potter on it. And in here is my Caledonia cowl. So not the shawl, the cowl. Um, I've also just noticed that it kind of looks like Gryffindor colours that I'm knitting in. <laughs> that was not intentional. It was just the leftovers I had from my Caledonia shawl. Um, so this is what I've got so far. Oh, it went dark. Uh, these stitch markers here, oh I'm showing you the wrong side, uh, these stitch markers here were a gift from Strawberry Patches, uh, Marina, and here's another one of the cat ones, marking my beginning of round, oh my gosh, where are you, You're hiding from me, there, um, so yeah, I'm having good fun knitting on this, I was knitting on this this morning, um, it has bubbles, short row bubbles, um, once, yeah, there will, there will also be some stranded colour work, which I've not done before, so that'll be fun. Um, I'm knitting this with the recommended needle size. I forgot to say who the designer is. The designer is Amber O'Brien. Um, I'll just put myself in the face. Um, the yarn I'm using is my leftovers from my Caledonia cow. This is Mama Willing Yarns Fab 4 Ply on Vamp and Spun Gold. Both are 100% Superwash Merino. And yeah, so that's what I'm knitting with this. Um, I just love how these yarns are showing up. Hold on. Like the tonal effect is just beautiful. So this is good fun. I've been loving this and it fits lovely in this bag. These cakes are becoming a bit of a mess though. I think just the way I wound them. Whoops. Go in there. Go in your home. Um, so yeah. I managed to get some more work on that. Cause last week I don't even think I showed it because I didn't actually work on it. But there we go. Um, then in here, oh, get tangled. This is another bit. This is a bag by Knit Bits, pardon me, which I also picked up from Capital Fiber Fest. Uh, and in here, this is exciting. This is very, very exciting. Um, so you may have seen this yarn a couple of episodes ago. But if not, this is my first attempt at hand eye yarn. And I'm knitting something with it. And I'm very, very excited. Um, so this was meant to be a tonal green. It's turned up more variegated than tonal. But hey, we learn. I put too much uh, vinegar in this one. And that's why that happened the way it did. Um, and then this is like a li like very pale lime green, yellow and white variegated yeah. This is my project. So this is the very, very beginning of a sh another shawl. This is, hi Ash. Um, 
Siren Song. <laughs> Almost forgot. This is Siren Song by Libby Johnson, or Trudy Myrtle. Um, she is a New Zealand based designer. And she has some lovely patterns. Uh, so, this is my first colour here. That's the like yellowy, very light green, and then the darker green here. Um, I'm using Formula Meter Knit Pro Zings that I got ages ago. But as much as I loved working with wood, I wanted to just have something to work with metal again, so I whipped these out. Um, which also means I can use my 4mm needle, needle tips on my jumper rather than on this. So I've been knitting away on this. This part is like mosaic, which I'm finding very addictive, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> um, so yeah. This is good fun and it's very exciting having dyed this and now working with it so I will keep you guys updated. I do have some more yarns to show you after that I've dyed but I'll show you that at the end because I've left them in my yarn cupboard, my yarn cabinet in the other room. Um, so yeah, there's not too much more to say on that one. As I said it's a Oh, I didn't say. But it's a paid pattern, so I can't say too much. Um, it's only a little bit, but it's the, it's the start. I cast on last night. So. There's that. My last work in progress, reach around the cat, is living in another Knit Bits bag that I got from Capital Fiber Fest. This is the Japanese Knot bag. And this is my sock. Um, I'm now at the gusset decreases for the second sock. The first sock is here, but <laughs> uh, typical me. I read through the pattern, and um, the heel on this is completely wrong. <laughs> if you've knit socks before, you probably would have recognised it. I was just silly, and I didn't recognise it. That was the heel on the first sock. That's the heel on the second sock. <laughs> so what I did is instead of purling back like I should have done, I was slipping stitches when I shouldn't have been. And so it's, I mean, it's very tight and it probably won't go anywhere. But now my sock looks weird. <laughs> uh, I mean... If I had to make that mistake, I'm glad I made it on Upshop yarn uh, rather than my nice yarn that I got from Fiberfest. But it's still frustrating, but that's okay. Um, I'm currently knitting this on, oh my gosh, what am I doing? 2.25mm needles. These are Addy Fix Circulars metal ones. Um, as, I said, as I mentioned before, this is Ash. No. No, you were not sleeping on that. She's trying to sleep on my shawl. No. Not for Ash. Sit there. Um. Hmm. I'm watching you. I can't remember what I was going to say now. This is yarn I got from Opshop. Um. Yeah. It's a very bright orange, which is not my kind of colour. But... For socks around the home, it's quite good. Um, the pattern I'm following for this is Vanilla Socks on Magic Loop by Crazy Sock Lady. Um, yeah. And this is what I've been knitting on at night because it's just fun. Um, I quite often knit on this while I'm listening to my audiobook, which I will talk about probably towards the end of this video. Um, because I'm loving this series and I will talk about it again after all the yarn content. Um, yeah. So that's currently living in here. It also comes with me to work in case I ever have some downtime. Sometimes in the morning, the kids are, they don't come for ages, so we're literally doing nothing. So it's nice to have. Just having a drink. It's also... Sometimes I knit and walk, so 
makes my walk home a bit more interesting. Um, I'm actually going to hop up because I left, as I said, my yarn in the yarn cabinet in the other room. So I'm going to go get that and I will be back. Right, I am back. Um, sorry, just have another drink. <laughs> Probably should have waited until I had a drink, but hey. Right. So, hand dyeing. Um, this one I've shown before. This was an oopsie. Um, so yeah, if you, I think it's a couple of episodes back I showed this. Um, I tried to go... I'll show you the colour of what I actually tried to go for. <laughs> I put way too much dye in the pot. I didn't make a dye stock before. Well, I did, but instead of doing like a little bit of dye stock to a lot of water to make it lighter, I just put the whole thing in. <laughs> Ugh, rookie mistake. But, um, so I made this, but it's not completely terrible because... So I had holiday program. The neighbor's chicken is really loud. Hmm. Um, if you hear that, I can't do much about that, my friend. <laughs> There's a chicken that lives just down the back. Can't do anything about that one. Um, Ash is now intrigued as well. <laughs> Fun. Um, so I just finished holiday program. So we're going back to our term time program program now. Uh, for anyone who's new, I work in childcare. I do before and after school care and holiday program for school aged school aged kids. I'm one of the supervisors. Um so I'm there every day. And we I was doing after uh, morning shifts every day aside from one day. And so there was a one day where I came home at lunchtime and I was like, you know what? I want to dye some yarn. So that's what I did. This is what this was meant to be. Now, I know these are completely not anywhere close. Um, this has actually been over dyed. Um, the red wasn't in there before because it was just like orange and bright pink and I hated it. Um, so I put the red on there to, so that I hated it less. <laughs> um, I used the same dye stock for this one as I did for this one, but a lot less dye. Um, and I love it. It's hard to kind of see the colour, but uh, it's mostly showing up. It's, the sun's kind of not helping, but, um, that's the first one. Um, this is on 4-ply, 80% merino, superwash merino, 20% nylon. Um, so yeah. Is this now and then this one now this is another oopsie <laughs> but I like this one <laughs> um, so <laughs> story behind this um, these two actually started out the same they were in the same dye pot I decided because oh, I couldn't decide if I wanted to speckle them so I took this one out and decided to try and speckle this one now <laughs> another rookie mistake I forgot to put acid in the dye bath the second time I dyed it. So I dyed it the first time, it had acid, and then I moved it to a different, like a shallower pot so I could speckle. And didn't put any acid in there. So when I speckle, <laughs> the speckles didn't stick. They bled everywhere. <laughs> but do I hate it? No, no, I actually really like it. So it has the fuchsia and the red and there's a bit of yellow. And there is areas like over here where you've got a bit more of a speckle rather than a splodge. <laughs> um, a lot of it is just splodges though. But I don't hate it. I actually really like it. And I was looking at my yarn in my yarn cabinet and I was like, wait. They go together really well. Oh, so I'm thinking about making a three-color shawl. Um, so... That is the excitement for this week. I have also dyed some more yarn, which is currently drying outside. Um, and that is for someone in particular. I'm making something for them. So, yeah. 
excitement from the dye pot this week. Now I need to get some more undyed yarn because I have none. <laughs> it's all it's all been dyed. <laughs> not, not, none left. Um, I think I fell down the rabbit hole. This is it now. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dearie me. Um, right. There was something else, I'm sure. Now that I've talked about my yarn dyeing adventures. Um, oh, I can't remember if there was any podcasts I was going to recommend this week. Um, I've been watching 100 Acre Wool. Uh, I've been watching her podcast. She put out a new podcast this week. I can't remember if there's someone else I was going to mention. Oh. That someone that I've mentioned before. Haven't mentioned before. Um. Can't think off the top of my head now. I've watched a few. Oh, um, West Green Loft Yarn. West Green Loft Yarns. Now, I, um, her yarn, <laughs> oh my gosh, they are my colours. They speak to me. And she is a UK-based dyer. There are times like this when I sort of wish I lived in the UK. <laughs> um, obviously, I don't want COVID, but be being able to easily get her yarn would be nice. Um, it's so expensive to get it here because of the shipping, but hey, I will just, I will just accept it. Um, I do want to get some of her yarn. I do want to purchase one of her clubs at some point. But yeah, her name's Vicky and her podcast, she hasn't done any recently. Um, I think the last one she did was like a year ago, but I realized she had a YouTube channel and was like watching all her stuff. Um, so yeah. If you like lighter, like kind of pastel tones, a little bit more muted, definitely go check out her yarn. I will leave her shop linked below. Um, yeah, she was one I did want to mention. Um, just because, yeah, I, I love her yarn. I mean, there's I don't think there's any, any dyers really who I can say I don't like their yarn, to be honest. But, yeah. So, she is one I really want to try. Pardon me? Um... Reading now, I haven't been reading like actual books. I'm more am watching pod, not watching, uh, listening to audiobooks at the moment. And the series I've been following, um, oh sorry, my brain's all over the place, um, all over the place. I've been listening so that I can knit at the same time. Um, but the series I've been following is the Vampire Knitting Club series by Nancy Warren. Um, I'm loving this series and I'm getting a little, I'm getting, it's this weird feeling of like, I'm really excited because it's getting really interesting and I'm like, oh my gosh, I want to know what happens in the next book and I want to follow the characters' lives and what happens and at the same time I'm really sad because we've got like three books left and I'm like, no, no, I don't want only three books left, <laughs> keep it going. Um, who knows, maybe she'll bring out another book. I hope because I actually think the rest the th book 13 actually only came out this year I can't remember currently on book 10 and I'm obsessed <laughs> I actually even came up with a pattern design which I haven't like I've sketched it out but I need to really look at it properly and find what yarn I want to use for it because I know kind of what kind of yarn I want to use but trying to find it and then getting it like buying it then going through the design process but I've actually got a design idea based off one of the characters in that book um based on something that she actually made for the main character um which is pretty awesome uh and I'm really excited and I want to make it and it probably would be something that I would wear and just I think just this whole series <laughs> It's giving me inspiration, it's giving me somewhere to escape from work and you know when things are not going too great and things are stressful and I've got meetings and blah, blah, blah. Um, you know it's just I'm loving it so much. It's a mix between fantasy 
and murder mystery and romance and knitting and I love it so 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 much I'm currently listening to it listening to it on audible but the last two books are not on audible <laughs> so I'm probably gonna get them on kindle and read them on my phone but uh yeah so I'm hoping they do come out on audible because I I'm not normally a rereader but I'm gonna listen to the series again I love it it it's just it's the perfect sit in bed and knit and have a cup of tea and just relax sort of series I love it so so much and she does have I think some other series as well that I'll probably check out and it just but I'm so invested in these characters right now like it's just like oh I'm so, I'm so invested in it it's just I love it like I just can't I mean <laughs> I have a whole thing watch later playlist on YouTube of things that I want to get to and normally I'm like yeah I want to sit down and you know listen to some of that or watch some of that and at the moment I'm like no nah, I just want to I just want to read or like listen to the audiobook uh, so yeah that has been my joy this week I love it so so much I listen to it every night before I go to bed and I probably won't stop talking about it and I'll probably be so sad when it finishes and it's been a while since I felt this way about a series and I'm so excited and it's just and it involves knitting which is a huge passion of mine so I'm very very excited and I don't think Nancy Warren will watch this but if she ever does thank you for that glorious series I love it I hope you keep writing more yeah it, I, I, I'm down the rabbit hole. I'm, I'm, I'm gone. I'm, you know, left ages ago after like the first book. I, I was gone. Um, looking at what the next books were, and when I realised it was a whole series, I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. So yeah, I think I've been ranting about this series for like six minutes now. I don't know if you can hear that, but my neighbour's trying to call her chicken. All right then, um, I'll let her do that. Right, <laughs> now that I've had my rant and I have shown you what I'm working on this week, um, I'm going to go. I'm going to go finish this link to my the chapter that I'm currently halfway through um, in the 10th book. And I can't get enough of it. Oh, I love it so much. Um, I'm also going to get this edited and uploaded to, well, set to upload tomorrow morning um and I'm gonna knit on something one of my many projects that is currently staring at me yeah um so yeah I'm going to go I hope you have a brilliant week I will talk to you guys hopefully next week um feel free to let me know what you're working on I would love to know um, feel free to add me on Ravelry too. I will leave my Ravelry and my Instagram information down below. Um, and I look forward to talking to you guys. Um, and yeah, if you need a book recommendation, go check out Nancy Warren's Vampire Knitting Club if you love knitting. Because, I mean, some people might not like it because it is a bit cheesy. But I love it. Makes me, it's one of those like feel good series. I love it. You know, but my taste isn't everyone's. Um, but I recommend go check it out if you think it's something you'd like. Um, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go. I will leave links to everything I talked about below. And I will catch you guys next week. Whatever you're doing, whether it's knitting or crochet or any sort of craft, I hope it's bringing you joy. And I hope you take care. See you.